David Vieira here, Vice President of Op and Van Lines, and welcome back to another segment of On the Road. Today we speak to Arthur Raymond. Arthur Raymond has been with Op and Van Lines for 33 years. He certainly has been an elite driver, and we've always considered him one of our best. Let's hear from Arthur. Oh, my name is Arthur Raymond. I've been with Oppen Van Lines as an owner operator for 33 years. I've actually worked for them when I was in my early teens in Providence, when, when they were in Providence. That's how I started in this business. And uh, I've stayed with it and decided when I became an owner operator, I got tired of doing local work, which is all stair climbing, and went on the road and been on the road since. <music> I grew up with them. David, Peter, the whole family. Yeah. Actually, I lived in the neighborhood, and we used to go over there all the time. We had uh, David's mother was a very nice lady. She had welcomed all the kids over. Just as a helper, yeah. and learned the business from helping, and then went on to learn how to drive a truck actually bought a truck without even knowing how to drive one. Got in it back then and you just drove. <laughs> and now, you know, they gotta go, they got schools and everything, but actually I bought my first truck in 74 for $10,000. And I uh, had a guy in the submarine service teach me how to drive it. Unusual? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's many of them, you know. I, there, there might have been a woman in California that told that uh, actually moved up in Calabasas where the Cadasians live up there in that area. And uh, would, remember, she had the garage unpacked. You just dump it on the floor. And then she, st she told us she was German. She told us us Americans got to work too hard for a living. And she had all kinds of potions she made when I was packing her kitchen. She wanted me to try them to help parts of my body and stuff. But oh, there's quite a few. Oh, the, oh the, uh, there's a real good one. There was a uh, multi-millionaire retired Navy guy that made a lot of money on real estate in Orange County. I moved out of Santee, California to Virginia. And my truck broke down for a week and he had exclusive use. I called him every day, he was no problem. And actually, I got there, when I got there a week late, he had a car ready for me, told me where the hotel was set up for me. I spent that extra day with him to help him out get things straight because I felt guilty and he actually, you know, he was very generous to me. Because a lot of people, they don't, the wife doesn't want to move, the husband's got a bit work and the woman is, the woman is a problem. Like I'll get an email that this customer is going to be real tough. I get out there, it isn't like that, you know, too many people fill in their ear with information. Uh, like even military people. I had a lieutenant commander's wife one day. She, they made her go to a class to check the movers out and they made us look like crooks and we break everything. And she, after like two hours with her, she come up to me, she says, I don't know what they're talking about. You guys are great. Well, it's a more personable company. You go to uh, the, like the unit group, you're a number, like a, you know, like a cattle pen. You go out to California this time of year, you, you're looking like say on, outside of LA, Ontario truck stop. They're lined up in drones. They're just a number waiting for a load, you know? And uh, like, like I said, I, 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 you know, I got nothing bad to say about Op and Van Lines because everything, they've always been good to me. You know what I like about being a mover? And I tell a lot of my customers, I'm with a different person every day and I don't have anybody breathing over my shoulder. You know what I mean? Because I remember when I first started, I would be nervous when I go out to do a job. You know, this guy's gonna get worried about this and that looking over my shoulder. Now I've done it so long, there's nothing they're gonna do to phase me at what they're gonna say. You know, I'm, I, I'm accommodating, so they can't complain about that, so. But, you know, it's just, I'm in a different place every day. Like I said, I don't think I could sit behind a desk. <laughs> I've been out there so long. I've thought about it a few times. No, no. It's, 
it's kind of I think it's kind of a falling art because they, they don't they, they need a training of these people nowadays to get them into the back into the business. You got wheel holders, but you don't have movers. So that that is a big part of this business that, that I see that I I would like to be involved with eventually. You know, as far as teaching them, you know, you could learn how to drive a truck, but you can't learn how to do the furniture business. Often with me means it's been my lifetime, you know, and I don't know any better. And it means, you know, this has been my living, which has been a good living. And, you know, I don't think I would ever go back and change what I did. David, I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you. Arthur is one of our uh, oldest tenured drivers. He's been here for 33 years, and he is a friend of mine from high school. How about parochial school? <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's going back a ways. But just a little bit about Arthur as a driver. Uh, as I said, he's been here 33 years, and he's worked here longer than that because that was before he was a driver. We worked on the trucks together. And in those 33 years, I haven't had one customer complaint. He is the consummate professional, always does a great job from start to finish. He's moved friends, he's moved family, and I've yet to have one person say that he hasn't done a great job. So he's truly one of the uh, best professionals in the moving industry. If you looked in the back of his truck, it would look just like a puzzle had been created back there. It's put in so picture perfectly and the furniture comes out, I swear, in better condition than it goes in his truck. So um, I would just like to thank Arthur for the 33 years he's given up in van lines and, and the uh, great customer care and the thousands of satisfied customers that have passed uh, across the pack of his truck. So Arthur, thank you again. Thank, thank you very and, much. And uh, we have only got about another 30 years you and I left, so uh, don't plan on going anywhere. 30 years, I don't know. <laughs> thank you very much, Arthur, and thank you for sharing 33 years with Arthur Van Lines certainly has been a blessing and you've touched many, many lives throughout your career. Stay tuned again for another segment of On the Road.